Hello, hello. Today we're going to talk about Clan Battles Season 7 Crash Zone Alpha. This battle is being fought on shards and it's an 8v8 format with tier 10 ships with your two BBs allowed and no carriers. What we have is a Kremlin, Montana, Stalingrad, Moskva, Des Moines, Henry, and a pair of Shimakaze. And we've opted for a pretty diverse group. Not really knowing. It's our first day. We're a couple of days late in starting, but uh, it's a lot of fun. We've always enjoyed the clan battles. Teamwork is uh, just so much better than random battles, and I can't uh, tell people enough. If you don't have a clan, find one that fits you, because this stuff is, is a lot of fun. It's very rewarding. Um, with our Shimakazes, you can see here I've got radio location, so does the other. Um, we typically, one goes to each, uh, each objective we're going to try and take. And um, for those that don't use this skill, on destroyers especially, it's very important to have. It gives you a, a quick premonition on, on where the enemy is going and reduces the chance you're going to get surprised. It's, it's a big plus and really helps you to not get flanked or to be able to counter somebody that's trying to flank you before you get to see them. Uh, also in the Shimakaze, it's a torpedo boat build, but the third module I think it is, uh, I opt for the turret rotation improvement of 15% at a slight reduction and reload of 5%. And what that does, you don't shoot as much with these as, as other destroyers, but when you do need to, you can actually actively evade, and the 15 second turret traverse that this brings it down to, you can actually evade and shoot at the same time, where if you don't have it, you pretty much have to expose your broadside again to fire a shot because the turrets are so slow. So it's just an option on any slow turret traverse um, uh, destroyer. I think a lot of people over oversee that. And really what you're talking about is uh, most destroyers that need it, 0.2 seconds reload or something, um, it's not the end of the world and you get more shots off, honestly. But um, this, uh, this map is very small and a lot of people get caught on this because it, uh, tier, tier 10 ships have got a much bigger range and it um, makes an interesting map. We've got Stalingrad supporting me on this flank and the rest of our guys are forming up. B is a big capture point here and um, so you try and spread out, Engine get crossfire, radar activated. support, all the usual stuff that you want for your team. And uh, my radio location just jumped here so there's something in front of us here. <clears throat> You're gonna see in a moment. It's something nasty. And it's not the Zal. That's right. It's a small end. Get six kilometers and closing fast. So small I start smoking immediately. Started. Some of it for my Stalingrad's purposes, so that he's not seen, but also so that I've got something to duck behind. Because that's my only hope. The new spotting mechanics here are pretty awesome. Um, it's the way they should be, in my opinion. And of course, I'm hydroed. I had started slowing down, to get punished for it. So I'm going to accelerate. Speed boost will save you. Save that for when you need it. Get myself out of hydro. I'm going to take a little risk here. I'm going to not go out of the cap. And I'm hoping he's as nervous about having a Shimakaze with uh, three sets of torpedoes as I am about him having Hydro. With your uh, speed boost on, obviously, the acceleration on some of these ships is very fast. I just about leave the cap here. That would have been bad. Stalingrad coming into position. I'm feeling better already. Although Stalingrad isn't what she used to be now. The the new HE meta and IFHE and everything, it went from being quite an overpowered ship when it was released to against the likes of Smolensk and the Zal that's on this flank. Pretty nasty. And this surprises me a little bit. The Smolensk was right there. Surely this Zal saw those Engine torpedoes. Boost deactivated. And I actually clip him with one. That, uh, that surprised me, but I'll take it. Quick fire off on the side, get a few more shells hit. Every bit helps in clan battles. Randoms too, but... 
One thing we found with these clan battles, there's been some excellent teams, this one included. They play an excellent battle in here, and winning or losing is um, who makes the mistake. And sometimes they're very small mistakes. Big thing about clan battles is you know that your buddies are going to have your back best they can. To port. Communication is really strong. Uh, well, it needs to be really strong, but that's one thing with clan mates that does happen. We use Discord. Uh, we've got a Ventrilo server set up as a backup as well, and it doesn't hurt to do that during clan seasons, because every once in a while you'll get problems with Discord. Nice to have an alternative. My Stalingrad's already been calling out. You see his health pool there? He's almost half health. That's how quickly he's been burned down. There's nothing else able to shoot at him. He's used the islands well. He's done everything right. So I'm going to just try and spam some torpedoes out here. At least get these guys to have to change course. And I'm going to start laying smoke here. I didn't realize it was as bad. I don't own a Stalingrad, but uh, Lita was telling me the smoke fire penalty is 14 and a half kilometers or something with Stalingrad. So if... Uh, I lay smoke and he fires with these guys this close, he's going to be spotted anyways. So as I'm pumping in front, <clears throat> he's going dark because they're melting him like butter. I don't even know at this point if I'm smoke just wasted smoke or not. But I'm trying to get him a chance to get a heal off and maybe duck Engine behind the island. Activated. Because those guys are running too. They don't like the Stalingrad, they don't like the torpedoes. So. <clears throat> and that's pretty widespread. I really didn't know where they were going to be. I normally button that up pretty tight, but they would have, those torpedoes wouldn't reach them anyways. They're, they're leaving. So at this point, my BCAP guys, they're already calling for some help. They're getting pushed pretty aggressively here. So I'm, I've let Lido know he's on his own. Henry's in the back. They're trying to lend some support as well. And I'm heading to BCAP to try and see if I can help. We're down to Monty. Same thing, you find yourself just slightly out of position in uh, 8v8 and you get punished hard. Fortunately, we got rid of their uh, destroyer, which is a very good thing. Now, as I'm closing with um, BCAP, we're chatting and talking. And um, what I'll start doing, watching my radio location, I'll uh, cycle my torpedoes on different targets just to see if they're moving forward or backwards. It's a nice little tip that you can feed back to your guys. And we've got our Kremlin there that's getting, he's in B-cap, and he's a little, little stressed. <laughs> he's got a lot of stuff coming his way. Um, but yeah, I'm just letting him know Moscow either going forward or backwards. Same with the Kremlin that's right beside him on the other side of that island. And then the Yamato and another Moscow are rushing in as well. So things are getting real tight real fast. Now at this point I'm telling the guys I'm really hoping that those Moskvas don't hit their radar anytime soon. Engine boost I'm deactivated. So I'm trying to use the islands as well, so even if I get radared, it'll be minimal. So I see all that stuff rushing. I do Shima things, and yes, of course, I'm radared. Torpedoes off. Our Kremlin's turned out. He took a little punishment there. Well, quite a bit, actually. He's being focused really hard. And I'm radared, so may as well get some guns off. And you see that turret traverse. I turned hard. I was able to shoot. I'll get a couple volleys off, and I'm trying to get a fire, or just anything to help. And I'm also soaking up some fire from the... I don't know if it's the Zhao or the uh, small ones behind me, so that uh, helps keep my battleship alive a little longer. Boom! You model down. Enemy battleship foundered. That helps release some pressure. And still radar. So, same thing. May as well shoot. Reporting the position of a strategic target. Smoke generator started. Problem solved, sir. Concentrate fire on that enemy. 
friendly warship. This Moskva angled well for the whole fight. The, the volleys of shells that went into that guy, I would have loved to see his potential damage. He got himself just a little forward on that. Fortunately, we were there able to punish him. And one thing that we managed to do very well here was spread our fleet fairly well so that uh, no matter where they were, it gave us more opportunity for crossfire or at least getting shots to support each other. Stalin's uh, called out for some help over an ACAP. He's being pushed again, so I sent the Kremlin that way to give some assistance. Engine boost they cap. Their team did a remarkable job of cap control. They're sitting in B cap. We're not getting points for that. Both the other caps now are theirs. If, if we didn't have a ship kill advantage, they, uh, they really managed the caps well. Kremlin's pushing my Des Moines here really hard, trying to get in behind. He'll nuke her from behind. So um, the other Shimakaze fired his volley of torpedoes, and that Kremlin was remarkable for dodging torps. I sent two, and I've held on to one. It's one thing I found with Shimakaze that's uh, very important. Again, I'm radar. Got one torpedo hit on that uh, Kremlin. send my next hopefully I have some more luck <clears throat> but if I sent all three I probably still would have only had one hit so at least now I've got a little more options I should have probably held it a little longer but I was worried about Des Moines and I'm just trying to hit the superstructure here trying to get anything extra for damage that thing is so close to dead and again too trying to give him something Fire else to shoot alarm. at other than my destroyer so or my cruiser rather Problem solved, sir. And there are other Moskva. So we're back in A finally. We are getting points from B, so that's all stations reporting things the are position looking much of a strategic better. target. The one thing that desperation does, <clears throat> it creates opportunities. Because the enemy team will try and uh, make the boost play. deactivated. And if you're not in the right spot to counter that, that can be a really bad day for your team too sometimes. Patience then aggression. It's a fine line. They end up complimenting us towards the end. Um, they didn't expect me here when I got their yami. <clears throat> they didn't expect me there. So always nice to get complimented. Very stand-up team, these guys. Enemy cruiser sunk. And I'm just going to fast forward here because the last couple of minutes is just the uh, Smolensk being put down. So, well, she's uh, being chased. But uh, I'm fairly new to this. I'm going to try and uh, have regular content weekly and um, relevant. And um, I've also set up a Twitch account and uh, Twitter and uh, Facebook page as well. Links are below. And I uh, appreciate any feedback you have. And I very much appreciate you guys watching. And until the next time, good hunting.